Part of the water main installation on 8th Street includes a new valve, and so because of the large diameter pipe, we're doing 24 inch water main on the project. Uh, we're installing 24 inch diameter valves, and so what the valves are for is to isolate different parts of their water system. If you ever see the little circular boxes in the roadway, those are valve boxes, and that uh, turns the valves, so there's a special wrench to be able to to turn those. Big difference on this project versus the other project is it's it's a much larger diameter pipe. So a typical installation you'll see in the area is like an eight inch uh, water main. While an eight inch valve is only about two foot tall and takes about 40 turns to close it. So it's basically a gate that closes inside the valve. And there's a screw assembly that um, when you turn the top of the valve, it turns the screw and closes that gate. Eight inch pipe versus a 24 inch pipe, even though it's only three times the diameter, it's actually nine times the, the square inch area. It's nine times as big as far as the volume that can pass through it. With the valves on this project, instead of two foot tall, they're six, seven feet tall. Instead of, you know, 30, 40 turns to close an eight inch valve, you have 239 turns to close a 24 inch valve. Should an emergency arrive where a water main breaks or you need to tie in or something happens to where you need to access that water main, but you obviously can't get close to it because of the danger of uh, the flowing water coming out of it, if you're able to shut down that section of line without closing off a whole street or a whole section of the city. Typically they are installed at block ends, so they're installed in the intersections at the end of the uh, blocks and that way they can close individual blocks at a time should the need ever arise. So a typical water main installation is uh, somewhere between a five and six foot barrier to the top of the pipe. Because of the size of the pipe here, in order to fit it around sanitary sewers, storm sewers, and the other things um, that there is regulated cover for, so the Department of Environmental Great Lakes and Energy, Eagle, uh, actually stipulates there has to be 18 inches of cover on a perpendicular crossing or 10 foot of separation for parallel lines. Um, because of the cover requirements and because of the amount of stuff in the road, we actually had to put this main uh, somewhere around 10 foot of cover. And so the valves are, are quite a ways down. The particular reason we're installing such large diameter pipe is not because the people on the street use so much more water than anyone else. It's actually a transmission main that comes from uh, different parts of their system. So whether it be coming from a wells or a tower uh, in order to feed the entire city. So this 24 inch main in particular hooks into a section of 16 inch that feeds town. And eventually it'll be what they call a transmission main. So you think eight inch main might be enough to feed this section of road, but you also need to be able to carry water through to the other parts of town. So from your, from your water source, from your wells, from your water towers, what have you, um, basically what is supplying the water and providing the pressure for the water, you need to be able to transmit that water or the amount of flow that you need to the different parts of your system. So it's part of the long-term goals of the city as far as upgrading their infrastructure to be able to install this new larger diameter pipe that will hopefully help continue to feed different mains throughout the city and provide for growth and other things that are occurring in the area.